All right, so today we are doing another thing that I said I would never do again, and that is reviewing or demonstrating or just kind of playing with, let's say, uh, an imported product, a product from overseas. You probably guess where it's from. So we get emails all the time from overseas companies asking us if we want some of their product to review it, promote it on our channel, that sort of stuff. Uh, and one time we said yes. If you remember, it was that pellet smoker grill thing, and they sent us a grill, and then they were like, hey, did you get the grill? We were like, yeah, we got the grill. They are like, can you send us a picture to make sure that you got the grill? And we're like, Here, here's a picture. Next day they're like, hey, have you done the video yet? And I'm like, we just got the grill, give us some time. So they're just kind of pushy to begin with. So we go, Alan does like an unboxing video like they asked for, and towards the end he's like, this, this grill is kind of crap. And so they email us, they're like, hey, uh, could you not do any more videos? And we're like, no, we're, we're do, we told you we're doing two videos. We're gonna do two videos. We're gonna pit it against Alan's pit boss. And so we did. Uh, I'm sure someone overseas lost their head because of that second video, and we were really sorry about that, but we kind of swore off import videos after that just because they were so pushy about everything. But today, we have another import video for you. So there is a tool that my wife actually has. It's a DeWalt tool that my wife has, and it's kind of an interesting tool. I've thought about doing a video about it a few times. I never did, but then a company emailed us and they said, hey, we have this product and it's so similar to the DeWalt tool. I was like, I, I have to. So that's what we have for you today. So this is the DeWalt tool right here. And yes, it is my wife's. Uh, she did not buy it. I believe my mother bought it for her for her birthday. And so what it is, it is a electric pruner. So this is your standard pruner. It's hers is really rusty, uh, but you know, you go and you prune stuff and after a while your hand gets tired. So the DeWalt electric pruner, it, uh does all the hard work for you. You just press the button and it chops whatever you need chopped. And so this is something I never knew existed. I never would have looked for, but it is actually super handy. Uh, it does like when you're doing a lot of yard work, if you need to do a lot of pruning, uh, it comes in handy. It's also way more powerful than this. We'll get to uh, the live demonstration here in a minute, but it's more powerful than this. We're also gonna find out if it's as powerful as one of these, cause this guy comes in handy a lot. But again, it's, it's kind of, you know, unwieldy to use. This guy, just put it in your hand, pull the trigger, you're chopping. And so what piqued my interest was the, the import version of that DeWalt pruner. Not only is it yellow and black, but it does the exact, the exact same thing, it prunes. So this is from a company called, I, I don't know, I don't know if there's a D or an O in the middle, it's either Imoum or Imdum, live. Live is better, you know? So we're gonna take this guy out of the box and then we're going to pit it against the DeWalt and the other pruners and see who wins. So right away, I think we have to give a point to this pruner because it came with a case. I like things with cases. This guy, no case. It came with a safety guard though that I seem to have lost, which reminds me when you get our point board ready, um, Alan likes to come over and write inappropriate things on my whiteboard. So we just need to erase that real quick. So there we have one point for the case. Uh, yeah, so DeWalt, the MDM, I'm gonna go with a D on that one. Uh, hand pruners are these guys and the big boy is gonna be this guy. What we get with this guy is the pruning unit itself. You get two batteries, which um, if you note, they are 21 volts as compared to the Waltz only 20 volts. So, I mean, that's already so much better, right? Do we, do we give it another point? I guess we have to. 21 volts, only 20 volts, no volts for those guys. This is going to be a big detractor though. You have this AC to DC adapter to charge your batteries. You have to charge your batteries like this, as opposed to like the DeWalt chargers, like I think everybody knows about. You just take the battery, throw it on, not dealing with some silly little dongle that I'm sure I'm gonna lose pretty soon. So if we throw a battery on, this one looks like it has a, a power button here that you have to turn on. Oh, it has a song. It's a point for the song. And as you can tell, this is a highly technical and very scientific evaluation. You're welcome. I almost forgot to go everything else in here. It comes with a, a manual. We don't, that's instructions. We don't need that. Uh, you got safety glasses. Those are too safe. Uh, and I guess some tools, an extra blade and some oil. Cool. Yeah, so power button, pull the trigger and nothing happens. Wait, no. Okay, yeah, so power button, and nothing 
happens. Ah, yeah, there it goes. That was weird. So let's say usability, that's that's kind of weird. The DeWalt one, all you do, uh, you throw the battery on, it's got this safety right here, you pull down the safety, pull the trigger. So we're gonna give a point to, you know what? These ones are pretty usable too. All you do is get out of squeeze them. This guy, squeeze them. We're gonna say usability, everybody except for the M dumb. Usability. All right, now I know it's a sensitive topic for some people, but we're gonna have to talk about size. You got this guy, he's pretty small. You got this guy, I mean, the cutting head is about, actually, you know what? It's a little bit smaller. So this guy might be the smallest so far. Uh, the DeWalt got bigger, but I mean, come on. This, he's clearly, yeah, this, this guy wins the size contest. And for the next part, we have to take a trip out to a terrible tree. So you know how every superhero has uh, its nemesis? These are my nemesis. So these are crepe myrtles. Those are chickens. Uh, these are crepe myrtles. They're also known as the worst tree bush things in the world. So when I was a kid growing up, my parents had one of these next to the driveway and where it was was also right next to where the hose reached when you were gonna wash your car. So what you do is you'd wash your car and then typically they have these terrible little flowers all over them. And then three seconds after you're done washing your car, they would be stuck to your car and they would not come off. And what was the whole purpose of washing your car if you're gonna have crepe myrtles stuck to your car? Here's the thing, even if you didn't wash your car, they just blow all over your car and still get stuck. They're just, ugh. So they need to be trimmed and we're gonna see how thick of crepe myrtle these things can cut. So this is the uh, the girth test. Now, I would start with these, but here's, here's the secret. They're not gonna win. We're throwing those away. So we are going to start with the new guy, the whatever brand it's named. Um, I already know how the DeWalt works, so we're gonna see how this works. Oh, maybe you have to hold it down for it to, to start doing its thing. If I had read the instructions, I would know. So this is a fairly significant branch, I guess. Let's see if it cuts. Kind of. Too thick. Let's pick one a little bit thinner. Oop, almost fell on me. So I'm going to say this is a three quarter inch in diameter branch. Let's see how the DeWalt does. All right, same branch right next to it. Oh, DeWalt went right through. Let's try the one that the import would not go through right at the same spot. Oh, God. Uh, well, DeWalt is definitely better than the Indum as far as girth. Now we need to try the big boy. So this one I'm anticipating will do better than the DeWalt just because you can get a bunch of force and leverage on this, but we will see. For this one, we're gonna try, uh, so this crate model right here, this one's actually like really dead. There's nothing on it. The other ones outgrew it and it didn't get any sun and now it needs to be removed. So we're gonna see how big this will cut and then see how big the DeWalt will cut. And we're gonna go bigger than what the DeWalt just cut. We're gonna go approximately here. Cut, a little bit of effort. We're gonna go right next to where we just cut and see what happens. Ooh, no. Well, if you pull the trigger a few times, it'll cut. If I had to choose between a lot of force and pulling the trigger a few times, I might choose the trigger. Yep, we're gonna give the point to the DeWalt. I am not biased at all. All right, I just figured it out. On the, uh, the MDM guy here, once you start it up, you have to like quick double press the trigger. It's not like that. Okay, so you start it up, nothing happens. Double press, it makes a noise, then you can cut. Thing is though, not intuitive. So intuitive, we're gonna give it to DeWalt because you just pull the trigger and it goes. This one, you have to either read the instructions or figure it out and I don't like either of those. But let's see, I mean, just like regular pruning, like this thing will be fine, I'm sure, like it, it cuts. It just doesn't cut big stuff. It cuts little stuff. 
All right, we're going to consolidate our points because I'm out of room. We're just gonna go with totals now. So we said the girth test was won by DeWalt, even though the big boy pruner, he does good. It just takes, you know, effort. You just press a button, way better. And intuitiveness, really, I mean, all three, except for, I'd say the, the Emdom get a point because, oh wait, hand pruner's not winning. Let's just take that one off the board. But really, yeah, usability of this one versus, you know, something like this, that's self-explanatory. This guy, you gotta figure it out, or instructions. Not a fan of that. Let's talk about batteries, too. So DeWalt, you know the drill. We got all these batteries here. Any of these batteries, even these big 60 volt ones, these will fit on our pruner. Same as all of our other DeWalt tools over here. So for me, somebody who has all these batteries already, going with something like the DeWalt kind of makes sense. I'm not gonna, or I don't want to buy another tool that requires like another battery system. I'm gonna have to have another charger around. That said, uh, these people, this company, they do make other tools that look quite similar to other DeWalt tools and their batteries are all interchangeable. So really, I think they both get a point for the battery. It's just a question of, why is it beeping at me again? What battery system you want to have? Because you could invest in, you know, DeWalt batteries. You could invest in Imdom batteries. It's just a matter of what you want to do. The big boy has no batteries, no point. Or extra points, you don't have to buy batteries. Two points. So the last category we're gonna tackle is price. Which one is more expensive? I bet, I can guess. I bet this is gonna be the cheapest. I bet this is gonna be next most expensive. And the DeWalt will be the most expensive. So you can get a pruner, same brand, very similar to the way this one looks, for $38.95. So I just learned that this uh, company is actually, it's not M Dumb, it's M O U M. That's that's an O in the middle there. Learn that. Also, these are surprisingly expensive. So does have a $20 coupon on Amazon, but $129 for the pruner, two batteries, exactly what you see here. Our DeWalt pruning shears, without a battery, $119. No coupon, technically cheaper than these guys without the coupon. Doesn't come with batteries, but we have batteries. So technically the big boy won, but I mean, he's not gonna win anyways. So we're just gonna cross him out. This is really about electric pruning shears. Do you want this guy or do you want this guy? So technically, I guess, we will give our point to the M O M because with the coupon, it's technically cheaper and you get batteries. Now, can you guess which one I would buy? Take a moment, think about it. I'm sure you'll be surprised. It would be the Dwat one. Even if it doesn't come with batteries, even if it's $10 more, I mean, I have all the batteries. I already said I don't want another battery system. This is, it also cuts better, cuts bigger, cuts more. Not that this guy is really that bad if it's off again. There we go. If someone was going to give this to me for free, like the company did, I would take it, except I already have this one. So maybe y'all can be that free person. So uh, go leave a comment down in the description below, something about pruning, it could just be the word pruning. It can be something witty, whatever you want. Doesn't get you extra points, but that will enter you to win this guy right here. 129.99 value minus $20 coupon. Uh, but yeah, so a week from today, I will assemble all the people of a pruning comments. We'll choose somebody at random and I will ask you for your address and send you this guy right here. If you're lucky, maybe I'll put something else special in the package, like a hot dog. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a good little pruner. It prunes small things. It's kind of expensive for what it is. You can actually, so on Amazon, you can get other, not this brand, other brands that look exactly like this, wonder why, for much less. So, not saying you shouldn't buy that one. Just saying, I'd buy this one. So this company actually did send us one other product too that I guess they're trying to promote right now. That one I'm also interested to try out because there is a DeWalt equivalent to that and Alan has it, I don't have it. So I'm kind of interested to see how that one will turn out. So stay tuned for another scientist, scientific prune off. It won't be a prune off, it'll be, a, it'll be a wash off. But until next time, I need to go and trim more terrible trees. See you later. Look, there's some of those terrible flowers. 
ได้ได้ได้ได้ได้ได้ได้ได้